my colleagues and partners. I hope you stay safe and healthy. Congratulations. You win in the extremely tough competition. Impressive and good luck to achieve innovative results, make changes in higher education sphere based on cross cooperation and exchange in the experience between EU member states and other countries in the world with the support of European Union. We are happy to welcome you to a large international Erasmus Plus community and Erasmus Plus Eastern Partnership Countries Hub eBoot, organized by the National Erasmus Plus offices and higher education reform experts from Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Georgia, Moldova, and Ukraine. You have started the project implementation and perhaps already faced some challenges and have doubts on who to contact, who could help, especially at the local level in the partner countries. So National Erasmus Plus offices and higher education reform expert team are here working with you this week and at your disposal during your three and more years of project journey, we invite the capacity building project team to consider us the practical resources and consultation hubs with international and local experience in higher education, liaison and helping hands for promotion and dissemination of your project result, and monitoring, expertise in national higher education reform, cooperation and synergy with national authorities, other stakeholders and beneficiaries, understanding of local specific legislation requirements, registration procedures, and consultation of any other project and country related issues. Today, together with colleagues from Eastern Partnership countries, we will guide you on what we could do for your capacity building project team, make your cooperation run smoothly, and how the results fit and contribute to the national reforms in higher education. So let's introduce and ask our colleagues, National Erasmus Plus Office coordinators, more about the helping hands they provide. We'll start with Lika Glonti from Georgia. Hi Lika, will you give us a hint how does our team could help the project with dissemination, promotion, and visibility? The floor is yours. Uh, well, thank you, Svetlana, for this question. Hello, Damar Joba. Dissemination of project results is one of the important part of your job, actually. And uh, you are supposed to know what to disseminate, how, when, and to whom, because there's a special work package on dissemination in your project proposal. So I'm not going to talk about uh, what you are going to disseminate, but about how and when and how our office, National Erasmus Plus office, can support you uh, by doing this task. First of all, please be reminded there are very strict and important rules about the visibility. Actually, in your grant agreement, there is a special chapter uh, providing obligations for project team to use European Union's flag and logo and also disclaimer. We have translated disclaimer texts in all uh, our national language so if you are publicizing your own language, you will uh, have this possibility too. Uh, please ask us for advice if you have any inquiries in this field. But generally, when it comes to dissemination, you may use National Erasmus Plus offices as an additional platform, as an additional tool, instrument to enhance the impact of your dissemination activities because we have very well established uh, communication with local and international partners. We are part of the network of National Erasmus offices and National Erasmus agencies. Our Facebook and Twitter accounts have thousands of subscribers and we can offer you this service to provide our platform as dissemination activity for your project results and also to advise you how to do it. Actually, the main message would be you have to define always the tailored messages for specific auditorium, for specific target groups, and then act accordingly. Uh, we are also inviting you to take part in local and international conferences, in education fairs, in uh, uh, impact studies while publishing different articles, uh, in in cluster meetings and monitorings. We are also organizing for you meetings with local authorities, such ministries and European uh, Union's delegation. And we will also remind you all the time to develop your own project's visual identity, uh, to use your logos, logos of your universities, because you are promoting not only your project, but also your university and your country. And once you are done, please don't forget to put your results on the Erasmus Project Results platform. 
Thank you and good luck with your projects. Thank you for sharing super powerful support in dissemination and promotion. As a capacity building team, you understand how the monitoring is important to the success of the project. Uh, let's meet and ask Lana Karlova from Armenia to share thoughts on how our team could contribute to during the monitoring and to make the monitoring as a quality improvement tool. Hi, Lana, the floor is yours. Hello, dear partners. Barios. Greetings from Armenia. Congratulations with the winning project. It will be very complex, responsible, and challenging work, but you will learn from each other. It will be very, very interesting work together. The monitoring uh, is the very important aspect of our work. And the main objective of field monitoring is to assess the progress and achievements and to learn about the activities realized and products developed so far, as well as to observe if the project has encountered any problems in operational or in financial implementation, which can be discussed and solved. We are doing preventive advisory and impact monitoring visits. Preventive is much more focusing on the project rules and procedures on the priorities, methodologies, and objective and activities planned, when the advisory monitoring much more on the content and financial aspects, and they both are doing through the project life cycle. The impact monitoring visits are doing after the end of the project and much more concentrating on the sustainability and assessment of results. But we will do our support. We will discuss all questions during our monitoring or before and after, of course, with the local teams, with you as a coordinator. But preparation is a very, very important aspect. You will receive the official letter and some templates for agenda and for the presentation. And we, of course, expect from the local coordinators a short presentation on the activities already done. And we collect also the key documentation, partnership agreement, different agendas, and um, you know, different protocols, and minutes of your coordination, coordination uh, meetings, um, prepared materials, etc. Very important, our desk research before the meeting with the local teams. And then also it could be from institution to institution or all together. But our test research much more related to see the project website and, and what the information already put in. And uh, also we see the, the websites of the institutions involved in the project. So any useful resources uh, will be very, very important for us. Any guides, any videos, any translations have been done already in the, in the frame of the project. We meet directors to see their vision and their support to the ongoing activities uh, and having all the, our discussion with the local teams with you and also approach the external stakeholders and beneficiaries, also students, if uh, uh, it's a reliable uh, also financial managers just to see and to help them to overcome some problems if they exist and provide much more sufficient work and after the our monitoring visits of the institutions discussing things we provide you a feedback during our conversation and afterwards you will receive on behalf of the executive agency or on behalf of uh, Nero the list of recommendation and we would try together to to follow not accept us as a bureaucratic uh, office we really want support your local teams knowing about the some specifics of the country academic culture academic traditions to uh, see the much more good results and better uh, achievements so good luck to your project and welcome to Armenia. Thank you, Lana. It seems that partners are in a very good hands, equipped with guides and useful resources that will be ready 
for monitoring to be performed smoothly. Colleagues, I think I have to interrupt Sweta because she also has to answer some questions. So let me ask her a question. And namely, could you, Sveta, as neo ukraine tell us what's about higher education reform experts? How can they help in implementation of capacity building projects? Thank you. Thank you, Lika. Let's call the prosimum. In Ukraine, the HEAR team is the largest in the region. Moreover, the HEAR team are strong in all Eastern partnership countries and contribute to the capacity building with relevant expertise to improve reforms based on EU and local best practices. They represent universities and ministries, research institutions and in If your partner university have a representative of higher education reform expert team, please involve them actively in the project working group. Consult them and other years on the implementation of Bologna instruments in your countries. They all have relevant expertise as practitioners with profound national and international experience. Upon your request, together with HEARS and national authorities, we organize trainings, workshops, seminars, conferences on higher education reform, and your teams will be equipped on how to modernize and develop curricula, considering laws, local laws, and be ready for educational programs accreditation. You will be ready how ensure Bologna tools like ECTS, qualification framework, SG, make tuned with local standards, if any. They could provide external expertise for project outcomes on Bologna tools implementation. They are a reliable resource hub with training materials, analytical papers, studies and research in higher education reforms, and do not forget and do not hesitate to contact them and use their already developed practical resources let me conclude by saying that HEARS are closely working with the national authorities. Let me invite Claudia Melinte from Moldova to brief you on how we help organize cooperation with the national authorities and what our joint events could be performed. Hi, Claudia, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Svetlana. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, hello, dear colleagues. Uh, salut din uh, Chisinau, bine ați venit. Uh, I would like to congratulate all your team uh, with uh, this great performance uh, that you have. Uh, you wins and you will implement your great project uh, in Moldova uh, too, but in Eastern country also. So uh, uh, Nio um, understand very well that you have a very great ob objective to uh, perform uh, higher education uh, reform in uh, our countries. And in this regard, uh, our teams is always uh, with you and also always uh, will support you during your project implementation. This is very important for your project and uh, much more important for structural project. So uh, you have uh, um, the possibility, the opportunity to discuss with us how better liaise with the ministry in your countries. Uh, we have already a very good cooperation with our ministry, with national agency in our country, with other ministry, and we can uh, add, um, we can uh, support us in solving different kind of problem or questions that you have do, and will have during uh, the implementation of your project. Moreover, we have also a very great uh, HEAR team which uh, um, work with us uh, in the frame of Erasmus Plus program in Moldova. And uh, this team uh, can help you prioritize different uh, tasks and different uh, objectives in your project and uh, uh, co cooperate with different relevant educational reform working group. And in this uh, way, we, you, you can obtain a very good and wide uh, implementation and impact our country to reform uh, the higher education. It's very important to cooperate with us if you need some support to, uh, to understand the local legal uh, context and um, uh, to disseminate also your uh, results and your activity in the in all our countries and uh, it is very very important to coordinate your project with other 
uh, important project and program in country with other uh, initiative that can have a ministry or national agency or other national authority, local or um, regional or national. So it is very, very important to work with, with us. Uh, and you are always welcome, uh, me and our teams and uh, all our uh, new teams uh, will help you in uh, all your situation that you will have during the implementation of your project. So the cooperation with the Ministry of Education, uh, with other ministry, with other national agency, very, very important for you. And we are here to help you. Thank you very much. And uh, congratulations again. I wish you all success. And uh, uh, we will see you all this uh, three or four year or of your project implementation. Svetlana? Thank you, Claudia, for the very clear picture. During your project implementation stage, you have already had questions on how to tune national legislation and Erasmus Plus program frameworks, how to converge EU and local specifics. Let's talk about it a little bit. Paris Pagiro from Azerbaijan. Will you specify how our teams could help the project? Hello, hello, salam. I would like to welcome everybody from Baku from the capital city of Azerbaijan and uh, my name is Parvis, Parvis Bagirov. Uh, I will be talking today about the uh, certain legislation specifics, in particular the registration. Now you will find out soon that apart from the regulations and rules that you are required to obey as per your grant agreement, there are certain rules and laws of the countries that are part of your project. If we're talking about Eastern Partnership, these countries are no exception. In every country, there are certain rules when it comes to, and laws, of course, when it comes to um, the implementation of uh, grant agreements. But that I will come to a bit later. I would like to tell that in general, the national Erasmus Plus offices are working closely with the local teams to support all of the participants, all of the beneficiaries with uh, the specifics on the local legislation. And that, that particularly is applicable to every aspect, be that accreditation of your uh, program that you are implementing or, or, or managing in the countries, be that recognition, be that equipment purchase of any kind, and of course, the registration, which is mandatory and obligatory in many of the countries, in particular of the country where I'm from. And our, our office is guiding you through the process, helping you to get the registration, get your project registered. And for that, we provide different guides, different brochures that are, are on our website. And if necessary, we liaise with uh, the ministries that are in charge of the registration process. Uh, that also applies to the VAT, because as you know, projects, Erasmus Plus projects are exempted from the VAT, but for your project to purchase the equipment without VAT, you have to provide a certificate. And for that certificate, for that VAT exemption, our offices are doing all they can to make sure that you get everything in time and in order. So all the, all the documents and everything is translated, is presented to you in the best possible way. And we are, of course, here any time of the day, basically. So if you have any doubts about local legislation or specifics, in particular about the registration of your project, please contact us immediately so that you avoid any delays, any mistakes that could, could happen. Thank you and uh, good luck with your project. Thank you, Parvis, and we invite the project team to use our videos, other resources, to avoid problems and delays, especially on the registration, contact us as early as possible. During the implementation of your project, you come across a lot of different issues where you need help. And uh, now we come to the consultation part of our team, which we provide to the project and country-related issues. If we could ask uh, Aksana Minich from Belarus, share with us more details. 
You're welcome, Oksana. The floor is yours. Thank you, Svetlana. Welcome all. Dzień dobry. I also congratulate you with the beginning of your project. When we start projects, we uh, get a lot of questions. How to disseminate the results? How to manage our finance? So uh, National Erasmus offices are happy to help you to find the answers on these questions together. One of the activities of uh, National Erasmus offices is counseling, visa and other assistance. In this direction, a counseling is carried out both at the stage of preparing project applications and after their approval. Office uh, takes special attention for registration of uh, projects in the countries in the accordance with national legislation. This process is quite difficult for new uh, national project coordinators or project managers. So we can uh, give you advice in this way. The office constantly conducts consultation in different forms, individual, group, online, offline, seminars, publish information booklets on, on the sites, in Facebook and other information resources. Also, office administrators have developed a training program for specialists from the international relations departments in universities, and we can train your specialists also. A special feature of this year was the challenge of the COVID-19, which inspired us to expand forms of advice. We initiated different online seminars and actions and invite you also to take part in such activity and to find the answers on your how-tos. Good luck in your project realization. Thank you very much, Oksana. It's really impressive. A lot of work has been done and a lot of support is provided by the teams. Thank you. As a matter of fact, we hope that now you know us and how we could contribute to the success of the capacity building project better and will contact us without any hesitation. We are aware of your challenges. It's not the complete list we mentioned today. Within external challenges, wars, political instability, COVID-19 influences our lives and project teams dramatically. While proactive communication is still among the challenges of most project operation. Please remember that you are not alone. Communicate to us at the earliest stage, Do not wait. Based on our experience, we confirm that joint solutions could be almost found together. You are welcome to copy us in the correspondence on local and other issues if necessary. As a result, we hope that you will enjoy working with our country's universities. You're always welcome to bring your missions to contact us and visit us. You can see our contacts and useful links in this presentation and in other input sections. Moving forward together, we can make difference for the development of our countries. Have a peaceful year, stay safe and healthy, and let's cooperate actively. Thank you for visiting us today. Looking forward to close cooperation and see you soon.